Welcome back guys. Today's video is going to be about Arkansas. And uh, Arkansas is definitely a pretty cool place if you're going to go looking for gold and or crystals. Um, I think we've got a, a list of stuff. There's, there's crystals, diamonds, and there's some gold that I can talk about. But we're going to try to keep this video short. So let's just move right on in to the gold. Um, here we go. So gold in Arkansas. Uh, gold in Arkansas was first reported by Spanish explorers who traveled through the state in the 1500s. So they, they've known about it for a while. But there was little interest given to it uh, due to the limited quantities. It was again reported that small amounts of plaster gold were found and the early settlers in the, the area didn't take that much interest in it because it wasn't like massive amounts. But our processes nowadays are so much more sophisticated and we're also a lot more knowledgeable on the ways to extract and to go after stuff. Um, so gold prospectors in recent years have explored the streams that drain the Quichita Mountains, a mountain range in the west of Little Rock that extends to Oklahoma. Um, so definitely, definitely going to want to check some of that stuff out, but I've got some other stuff here too. So. Um, in 1896, there were again reports which claimed that gold was discovered in Hollenburg City in Washington County. Um, they were kind of disappointed because it wasn't as, as much as they were hoping it would be. But just about the same time as the discoveries up there were, uh, were going on, there were reports of tin being found along the Smoky Hill River. Uh, no tin was found, but the ores contained low percentages of zinc, which is mineable and valuable. Um, Basically, it's unconfirmed whether or not there was gold in the shale and uh, the large rivers that flow out of Colorado, you know, my place, small amounts of plaster gold do drain from those known areas that bear gold here in Colorado, but it's, it's a long way down those rivers. Um, the larger gold flakes and nuggets just do not travel very far downstream, but floods have the, capa the capacity of pushing fine flower gold over long distances over time. Um, so there's definitely some that you can find in the Arkansas River and whatnot. Um, there is uh, potential to find gold in the Arkansas, which also cuts through Kansas, but the, the Walnut River, which is a tributary of the Arkansas, it's uh, in the Flint Hills region in Butler County, and Smoky Hill River in Geary County near Albany and Dixon County. So there's, there's some places to go look for some gold, man, and you can go get yourself some of that. So keeping this video shorter let's let's move on to uh, the Crater of Diamonds State Park this is a cool place guys this is the uh, the only state park that is open and you can gemstone mine and it's like eight bucks a day for adults but this is the only productive gemstone quality uh, diamonds in North America that the public has access to. Um, so all of the Arkansas State Parks, the Crater of Diamonds has the arguably the most colorful history with stories of treasure hunters and the diamonds found in Arkansas through the decades. People first began to suspect that diamonds might occur just outside of the quiet town of Murfreesboro, Arkansas when the precious stones were found in the peridotite, peridotite soil of Kimberley, South Africa. So. That, that just caught me off guard, sorry guys. State geologist John Branner knew there was an area of periodite soil just west of Murfreesboro, so he gave the place a thorough surface search in 1889. Unfortunately, he didn't find any Arkansas diamonds when he went and looked. But uh, the history of the diamonds in Arkansas began with the first diamonds that were found in Pike County, and uh, that was by John Wesley Huddleston. And one weighing two and five eighths carat and the other weighing one and three eighths carat and they got verified and uh there were diamonds of fine grade so there's there's a whole bunch of history here but in the end you're going to uh want to go to crater at diamonds state park and check that out there's a website that you can go to and dude, they're nice diamonds um i think I think we're going to have to to keep moving though cuz I do have some some stuff. All right, here we go. So, quartz crystals, clear quartz specifically in Arkansas is some of the world's best. 
Um, it's also got some interesting properties that I may go through in another video and show you how it stores and generates electrical charges when you, you cause mechanical stress to them, when you smack them together. Um, Mount Ida, though, is located in Montgomery County, home to the Cochita National Forest and Lake Cochita. The town is a thriving arts community, family-owned treasure, uh, treasure, family-owned restaurants and businesses, and the historic Montgomery County Courthouse. So there's family-owned rock shops that line the highways all around Mount Ida, but it's to be expected in a town that proclaims itself the quartz crystal capital of the world. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty sweet spot. So private uh, quartz mines, usually associated with rock shops, allow visitors to search for their own crystals for, uh, for fees. And I've got some info on, yep, there we go, the Ron Coleman mine. Show you guys some of these, uh, these quartz crystals. So this area of the Ron Coleman mine is, there's several mines in this place that you can pay to dig. These guys allow you to go, excuse me, out there too. Um, so Ron Coleman mine uh, offers comprehensive crystal and quartz mining for all ages and skill levels, whether you're completing a mineral tour of the country or taking your young children on a family adventure. Some of the many features of our mine include unlimited digging for that day during open hours, crystal and quartz mining. Anyone and everyone is welcome to their public mining area, no reservations necessary. They're open all day, every day, year round, with the exceptions of the, the few holidays. Um, they have just slightly shorter hours during the winter season, and they even allow leashed pets to go mine with you. Those, my friend, are some wicked stuff. Um, once you've paid your digging fee for that day, you can dig until we close, or until they close. You are welcome to come and go as you please, so feel free to wander all over and go to the gift shop, take a rest, or go out to lunch. This, this place is pretty cool. I actually have footage of when I went down here as well. And I didn't go to the Ron Coleman. I think I went to the Jim Coleman. Um, there's, I think they're brothers that own mines. But I've got pictures of that as well in my uh, video on how we made our mine at the end. I also went down to Florida and visited Rux Pit and got calcite that was inside fossils. It's pretty sweet. Um, but the crystals here, phenomenal. Um, you know what? I think that'll probably about do it for this video. I hope that you guys found it informative and that it was useful if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it really, really matters to us. We really, really do care. I, if you guys want to have shirts that are designed for these different states for a prospector, leave us a comment down below with a shirt design. Something like Arkansas chapter of uh, you know, Prospectors Anonymous or something. If we pick your design, we'll use it on a shirt, we'll put it up on the website, and we'll probably send you a free shirt with that design and a bunch of cool stuff. So make sure to leave us comments, let us know what direction you want this channel to go in. Thank you so much for already, you know, supporting us at this point. But if you, if you feel like supporting us more, there are other ways you can do it specifically. One of them is subscribe. All you have to do is hit that, that icon and then hit the bell, and if you haven't already, that's the best way to just flat out get this channel moving. Um, if you want to uh, subscribe, that's awesome. We're probably going to do a Patreon. I don't know uh, if, I'm, if I'm going to quite yet as of this video. But there's another really cool way that you can help support this channel. And you'd be surprised how far it'll go. You guys could get us doing this full time and daily uploading really quick. So that would be shameless self-promotion. Uh, the website. The website is selling our merchandise now from our mine, and we have a 40-acre gem and crystal mine in Colorado that produces a lot of really good stuff. Um, if you want to check it out and check out what we've got going on, go to the, the website, hardluckstore.com, and please, please, please go find something there and, and you know, maybe, maybe pick up a, a couple necklaces, maybe pick up some crystals or some tumbled amazonite. Um, one way or the other, guys, I really, really hope you have a, a fantastic day, and if you're down in Arkansas, I hope it's sunny and you're out there hunting.